just going to change the camera up so you can see the video clip in that stage. The way it's on the tripod, it's kind of handy. It's pointing down towards the board, but I can just, um, on, I don't know what you would call it, but those um, things that you pan and t that tilt is going up and down with the camera. So just tilt it up because it's tilted down now. And easily we can um, see what's on the screen. I might do some whispers, whispers, whispers. So if I get it in the time frame, I just get it right. So you know it's easier today. Easier today. Easier today. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, subscribing and everything. My watch time is doing really well. So I just thought I'd bring a new variety of videos into it. I was gonna film another Am I the Asshole one. Because I'm in the sitting room here. And yeah, I can do the whole blue screen thing easily, but I thought, you know what? Let's do something different. And this is a board game I think, think that you could actually kind of play by yourself. Not as fun, but like you can still like answer questions and stuff like that. It's not like Cluedo, like you need other people to tell you if you're right or wrong. You can't really play against yourself in that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna roll the dice now. Um, I just realized 
two of myself, so I will be keep go I'll keep going the whole time anyway. Another question mark. Seriously, you probably can't see them that well, but just like, you know, take my word for it. There's a bit of lag on my Fujifilm app, so I can't see if you can see, but it's a question mark. And another a uh, three this time. Also, the other thing that I was gonna say is that if you want this, I recommend this game for like a Harry Potter fan. I got this for Christmas, I think, <coughs> one time, <coughs> a good number of years ago. I can't remember how many years ago. Can't remember how many years ago, but I truly enjoyed it. Still play from time to time, time to time, time to time. And yeah, it's good if you have a Harry Potter fan, the fan, the family. Then you're gonna have to play with them, so make sure you like to play too, or just play to um, satisfy them. The other thing is, this is only up to movie five since the others either weren't released then, or 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 that the sport the board game is behind the movie release, perhaps as well. A little iced coffee break. Mm. mistakes Neville for Harry in this scene. Thank you. 
you what the question is. What is the name of the actor who plays Hagrid? Robbie Williams. No, I swear it was Robbie. Robbie. Robbie, 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 Robbie. Or is that someone else? Oh, jeez, I'm not sure what it is. Jeez, it's actually weird because I actually got this one the other day. I played with my mom and brother, and so I actually kind of thought to play this again. It's because one of my dad's colleagues was visiting from France, and it's ex-colleagues. So we're playing a lot of games when she was there in the evening to, like, socialize and stuff. Because we usually just do our own thing. But then when she left, I didn't think to play when she was here. It probably wouldn't have been the thing. I thought we should continue playing some games and not just watch TV and stuff. So we played this. My brother won, but it was so tight. <laughs> it was like, and he also won Cluedo when she was here. I think twice. So yeah, so annoying. So. It's funny because, as I was saying, I got that one before. I would have probably done the second one, but I actually got that wrong because I didn't remember. I said Robbie Williams last time as well. Like, she's all down with me. What's wrong with me? Anyway, let's continue, continue, continue. So, hope I don't have to change the angle of this way too many times. But yeah, this is not going to be too, 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 too long because I only have 50 minutes total left on the recording before I transfer files and delete stuff and whatever else. I could have done that before, but I thought, oh, it's fine, there's enough space. Okay, let's get on to it. Lucius Malfoy. Lucius Malfoy. Whoa, I got it right, I got it right. I used to love these ones, love these ones. But then, in the last game we were playing, I thought we got this in like, I think it was my brother's all play to win or something like that that would have been significant, but I didn't get the answer right. Change the angle, but you know, the way 
necessarily and even if they don't take a lot of editing it still takes up time like I'm still filming them for like 40 minutes actually talking actively then some of the time at least like 10 minutes setting up the equipment you know and maybe if something is not working fixing that then making the thumbnail I'd say at least 30 
yourself like me and you all play so like you may know the question the answer but the other person got it first so it's not really a benefit for them but the benefit for them is to stop you from winning so that they can win then because then it's the next turn so then you go into final cut and then you have to answer three questions right um to win so if you get one right you move to the up you move from like say three i don't know if you can see my idea three to two to one and then you're on one and you win you get it right it's a bit like weird because if you're on um three say and you get it wrong you still move to two if you're on two and you get it wrong you still move to one but like then like it goes around the board goes around the board depending on how far the people are behind you they can catch up and win in the meantime but it's weird because like even if you're on three and you get two right you go from three to two you could go to one but like the same thing you could still go to that place without getting any right so it's a bit i don't know but yeah let's move the camera and get started on this yeah the video will be longer if i get the all play to win on right i'm wrong but i'm just trying my hardest so i'm not gonna lose on purpose or cheat or anything So now it's time to press all play to win and try my hardest. I wonder if the questions are usually like specifically hard just for this, if the difficulty of the questions vary depending on what you're in. Oh, I love these ones. Ruby is accurate. Yeah, it's talking about Buckbeak and the prisoner of Azkaban because he attacked Draco. So it's Ruby is accurate, Ruby is accurate, Ruby is accurate. Played by Robert Coltrane. Whoa, I think that one was too easy, honestly. Honestly, 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 honestly. Grandmother, 
oh, sorry. Um, it's Professor Snape, but then it turns into his grandmother. No. <laughs> Move to circle number two and away your next turn. But I mean, I've already won, so I'm not going to play a second time. But yeah, I'll just go into a final cut again and press two. So it kind of guessed it was Gary Oldman, which is serious black. 
no say where he's going. In the film Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, who plays Albus Dumbledore, Richard Harris, <laughs> Professor McGonagall will speak very, very clearly. I'm gonna give myself two out of three for that one, because I didn't get the second one really that right. So six out of nine, seven, eight, eight out of twelve. Okay, okay, okay. In the film Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, as well.